Have you tried Obsidian Web Clipper? It's a brand new browser extension officially released by Obsidian. It allows you to easily save content you see on the web instantly right into your Obsidian vault. And here's what it looks like. So for example, here I have some content that I want to save into my vault. So I can just right click, go into Obsidian Web Clipper and click on Clip This Page. Once I click on this, I see this module happening that shows me the text that is gonna be added to my Obsidian Vault. And if it's okay for me, after, I can just click on Add to Obsidian. And here it is. So now, just to show you another example of what's possible, if I go in my email here, uh, there's also content that I want to keep. So what I can do, instead of saving the entire page, I can also choose Highlight this page. So here I can select exactly which text I want to keep. So let's say I want to keep this until this, perfect. And then I click Clip Highlights and I add to Obsidian. And now you can even see that actually it was sent to the inbox from File Organizer 2000. So it's going to be organized automatically into the best folder. So you see that now, yes, it was sent to AI Knowledge. And if I click here, you can see that it is um, organized into that file. And if we look for um, the previous file, the other one that was about uh, tips for YouTube, I can go into my YouTube folder, tips, and I can see that it was organized right here as well. So yeah, it can be a really useful tool for these kind of things. And here's for the setup part. So if you go into the extension settings, right here, uh, first, the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're going to set up which vaults you want it to go to. So here you're going to type simply the name of your vault. So the name of my vault is pro, so I just typed this here. Then you can also use hotkeys if you don't want to right click every time. Uh, but let's go into the vault settings. Um, if you have File Organizer 2000 and you want your notes organized automatically, afterwards you should um, make the notes end up in the inbox folder from File Organizer 2000. Then your notes are going to be distributed uh, into your folders. Then one last thing I would do if I were you is I would also remove a bunch of those properties, but they show you what you can do with it. But I like to keep things very clean, so I'm going to remove most of them. Probably I'll keep source and I will keep tags. And that's it for this video. Let me know how you're planning to use Obsidian Web Clipper, but we at File Organizer 2000, we have a few ideas on how it could be really useful uh, when combined with the plugin.